Okay. Okay, welcome back. Um, the second hour, we thought we will do something different. Um, we're going to be doing, I mean, the, the topic is on common issues in marriage and family, which I think you could just probably go through your notes and look at what are the issues. It's just basically um, looking at what are the issues and also what are guidelines you need to do as a counselor. All right. And I just want to quickly touch upon that and probably we'll have like a practical session. So the when you're when you are counseling couples or families, there's more than one member. Right. And usually what will you see when a husband and wife or a family comes together for counseling? What are some things that you think would happen? No, no. We're not looking at what will happen. What are you noticing? Yeah, they're fighting. And what are they fighting about? Yeah, so usually you will have two different kinds of stories, right? Two perspectives or two stories. So what should you as a counselor do there? Huh? OK. Okay. Mike, people need to hear you. First, we have to listen to the both the perspectives. Mm. I mean, you are asking me what we have to do, the final thing? The no, 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 no. Complete... not final. Uh, final is a, it's a process. I'm saying. What should be some things you should keep in mind when you're dealing with a couple of, or a family? Compassion towards them. Do not judge them. OK. So one thing very important is you don't uh, side one. Yeah, one-sidedly. Yeah. Do not don't side take one. Anyone's... Don't take anybody's side. Side one and bring down the other. It's a very dangerous thing to do there. You're not there as a judge. You're not there as a advocate for anybody you're helping them to come to resolve a problem okay, that's one of the first and foremost things that you need to um, do and how do you do that you need to make sure that both can trust you right so you're not going to isolate or alienate any of them but how both can actually trust you the idea is to get you are staying, standing there, not as a mediator. You know who a mediator is? Who's a mediator? And in between, who's saying, OK, wait, 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 I'll tell him. All right, you're not there as a mediator. Remember that. You're there as a facilitator. A facilitator is you're helping them come to a place of conversation and understanding. Okay, so that's what you're basically doing in that. All right. So I thought better, better than going through this is let's take a example and we will have a um, we'll have a session. Okay. So I'll give you the scenario. The scenario is that the husband had a affair. Okay. They had an affair. The wife found out and the, and as a result they have come for counseling all right okay online students okay now i'm trying to figure out how we can do this how do we online students engaging will be very difficult so y'all are going to be so what i'd suggest is two whoever are going to be sit together on one computer and the counselor can you you can just switch on your camera no ah okay okay switch on the camera so who are the two people <laughs> okay so francis is the husband Who's had the affair? Okay. Anand, and the other wife? You someone has to be the counselor also. Anyone among the online students willing to be a counselor? 
Uh, I, I think Ramali can try. Uh, I can try. Volume. Ramali, did you say yes? Uh, I said I can try. Yeah. Yes, okay. Someone. Wonderful. Yes. Great. Yes, great. Someone. Okay. So she's gonna try. Okay. So who's the wife? <laughs> no, no, no. The wife is the uh, Anand. Be the wife. You just have to complain about him. Easy job. Your husband has had an affair. You found out. Okay? Huh? You don't know how to manage. So, uh, come, come, come. Anand's wife. Take, take, a, take a chair and sit. And put on your cameras, huh? You just complain that he's he's uh... okay. Ready? Okay, fine. All right. Just put on your video so Ravali can see you, because I think it's helpful to see. Okay, I'm going to switch off my. Who is the wife? Anand is the wife. Yeah, yeah, Anand's the wife. Anand's taking some time to come. Oh, Anand's the husband. Anand's the husband. He's still coming from his affair. Maybe I'll try to come. Uh, Ravali, your your uh, your uh, counselees want to see you. So yeah, I'm trying camera. to come on the video. Yes. Okay. Okay. Please excuse me. Yeah. You heard that, Ravali? No, I, I didn't hear that. that. Okay, I told them not to complicate it. I said that uh, the husband. Uh, Agreed that he has an affair, mm -hmm. and uh, because the wife found out, she said, "Until you come for counsel, if you don't come for counseling, I leave." So that's the scenario. And that's how they've come to you. Okay. Okay. You can start, Ravali. You can start. Um. Hello. Okay, it's, uh, give yourselves name or Francis and Anand, Anandi. No, no. no, Anand and uh, Angel. Okay, Anand and Angel. Um, okay, start. Yeah. Hi, Anand. Hi, Angel. How are you doing? Guys, hold on a minute. You're on mute. Unmute you on a boy. Unmute yourself. Well, I have to put it on. No? Oh, okay. All right. Can you hear them? Hello? No. no. Yes, I can. No. I can. Yeah. Yes, yes, uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm going through a big trouble, big, big problem. I, I, my, my, my husband gone from my hand. Um, 
he have an affair but i don't know what to do with that okay okay um okay okay calm down um i understand you are you are a little agitated right now um can you hear me sorry yes right can you hear me loud and clear chi would you please come doubly Yes, saying anthem. Speak again, please. Hello, my check one two three. Okay, speak. Ravi, yes, speak. speak. Ah. My check one two three. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um. So, Anandi, I. I am the angel. Okay, guys, let's keep it formal. Okay. So, okay. okay, let's start. Um, hi, Angel. Um, I understand you're a little agitated right now. So let's just take a moment. Um, so I'm glad you and your husband Anand are here today. to meet me and i'm sure the way it started there are some kind of uh, things happening in between you guys so uh, even before i want i speak um uh, can i understand what's exactly happening between you uh, maybe i can hear from you both um angel would you like to go first and uh, you can try and explain me what is wrong I want only okay. one thing. I want my husband back. Okay. Um. So what what happened, Angel? What happened? Is there any reason for you to be so? Uh, he have a childhood. He have a childhood crush from uh, his fifty uh, year old. Uh, but uh, after I got, he, he can marry her. No way. He married. me and my life became spoiled now he that that person his name is anand he is with that girl every night every morning i mean, he is not spending time with me not coming to my house lot of things lot of things okay so you are saying that your husband is having an affair with her with his childhood crush am i right can you come again <laughs> you are saying that your husband is having a crush with his childhood uh, classmate am i right angel yes yes now they are but they are, they are maintaining their relationship they are avoiding me okay i understand you might be going through a lot right now um so anand uh, do you has do you want to say your side of the story both husband and wife are discussing to tell me this way Yeah, hi, hi, Ravi, hi. Sorry. Fine. Yeah. Um, uh, I heard your wife is uh, saying that you're having an affair with your childhood friend. Uh, do you like to explain your side of the story, if if anything? No, she is. Uh, she is still my friend. She is. Uh, she is doubting me. I don't know what to do if she doubt and all. What I have to I do. Uh, agree that you had. You are confronted. It is true. Don't don't do this because that gets very complicated. So okay. just agree. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah, Ravi. Um, she is she is my childhood friend. So yeah, we are in a relationship. Okay. Okay. So before even addressing the. Uh, problem prince is raising his hand right do you have a question prince go ahead yeah, so now like uh, we need divorce or like what what is it what we like how should this story go no you i think you need not to go with it i we just have some yeah like who is the main character like husband want to like divorce or not to divorce or wife want to divorce not to divorce and what the It's like, what is a forwarding story? That you create. 
So it's been like from the month we married I think on um I think uh, mostly one month he's with me we are in a good relationship we are like as friend best buddies but after one month mostly three months he start uh, separating from me he said he have a job lot of job lot of works happening he start going out like I I I mean, from my heart, pure love. Okay, I trust him. He is saying truth. But after six years only, I got to know uh, from one of my friend. He, uh, she said, CCTV on our uh, villa. She said, okay, he is going not to that person, not, not to for a work. He is going to another own person. Like after I'm in mean, the investigation, but recently I found out. I talked to him. It's, it's been one year. It's been one year. I caught him. So actually, uh, Angel, few details are not matching. Uh, you said you were married for ten years, and then after six years, you found out. After three months, he got separated from you. He's keeping separate from you, and after six years, you found out he had an affair. And uh, so. What happened in these six years? Were you uh, were you guys having good moments? Were you guys happy? Actually, it's been no. no. 
actually uh, he is not separating he is like we are not fully separated he will come on the morning like not in a proper talking um i will make food for him he will come and eat and we will spend time some time we'll go out okay it's been everything normal but i felt somewhere now i am feeling somewhere like okay that is a reason he went like is is he's been a busy lifestyle but we got the time to talk we got the time to enjoy he give that freedom and all okay <clears throat> anand um how was your experience your last past 10 years of your marriage life with angel um angel shared her story uh, could you please share what you, what was your experience do you have any happy moments or anything that could you highlight on it yeah uh lovely uh to uh if i if you ask about my wife uh she's a very good girl as far i know she's a loving girl uh, whenever i come back home she'll be waiting for me uh she cooks a good food kerala food yeah that is uh she cooks so well yeah that is one of the best thing i can say about her yeah everything is good for me she's a very good wife i don't have any problem with my wife um so as you agreed that uh, you know she's a she's a good person and you had a good time with her as a wife she's taken care of you and family um and also as you um kind of agreed that you have an affair with your friend um could you please tell me like um since when this all started is there any point where you decided that you you know you had to look out uh you know we understand everybody has some kind of a weakness is there something that with you that you could explain to us as a reason yeah so uh, she is uh, she is from, my childhood friend so we promised each other to be will be there for each other for life so i can't break that promise but uh, my parents uh, uh, forced me to marry to this girl so i can't uh, cheat that girl i can't cheat my wife also so yeah i'm just justifying i'm just being on both the sides balancing two families okay uh as complicated as it sound um so now you come to this position where um it's hard for me to say but as you are hearing from angel both of you are in a difficult relationship and angel is uh, so sad that she want you for herself and uh, she doesn't want you uh, to share you with any other person so you came to this point where you have to choose between angel and your childhood friend um so i would like you to think about it i am not expecting an answer uh i would okay. like what i suggest is that I you and angel yeah. i just want to tell you one thing ravali see here uh, my childhood friend uh, didn't got married and she stayed for me she is not married it for me only she stayed like that so you just tell me if i if i leave one how it will be for her if i if i stay only with my wife i can't leave her uh, because she stayed for me right i can't leave my wife also i i don't want to cheat anyone i want two families i want both my wife and my childhood friend so unfortunately um you are married to angel anand so that is a covenant that you made with angel and you have been married your childhood friend so there is no kind of a legal covenant that is attached to her so it will be an illegal affair at any point of time so i understand your feelings towards uh, you know i i can listen your feelings towards her but uh, as you see legally and morally or ethically angel is your bread advice and uh, if you have to stay with her it is uh, it is that you have to be true 
what you have promised to angel as part of the legal or covenant process. So, angel, I would like to ask you this question as Anand is expressing his feelings for the other person as she is not able to leave her because of the promise he made for her. So, after listening this, uh, how do you feel about it? If Anand wants to live with me, we need to leave that 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 little black suitable was that girl, and you can't can my house, or else it's gonna be forever. I'm gonna to kill Anand and his girlfriend. I'm gonna to jail. I not want this life without Anand. Hmm. Looks like. Uh... You've been through a lot, uh, Angel. Your voice also changed uh, quite a bit. So, uh, I would, uh, we'll, we'll say, we'll do this. Uh, maybe I would like you guys, two of you, Angel and Anand, uh, you just sit together and uh, you can talk what you feel about each other and have a sit over a cup of coffee, leave everything aside, just talk you feel, talk your heart out about each other. And when we meet uh, before the next session, uh, you come with the points that you write down, what you feel about each other. And uh, I would request you to come for the next session after doing this exercise. I hope that is okay. Uh, we will uh, see. Uh, it is difficult. I want you to understand. It is difficult to give a absolute solution for these kind of problems because there is two individuals involved with a third extra, and uh, decision should not be taken in haste. So we will take it slow. I understand both of you are in pain and uh, a lot of uh, complexities. Uh, and uh, it's like angel minded heart attack also. Uh, so I would like you to do this exercise. I suggest, uh, and uh, we will meet in our next session uh, with the output that you have. Thank you. Excellent. <laughs> Is my mic on? Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. I think you did such a great job, uh, Ravali. I, I think uh, let's uh, let's look at uh, what Ravali has done. Her the skills that she's kind of uh, <clears throat> uh, showed. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll get uh, Angel and uh, Anand to first uh, respond. What did you think about uh, the way that she? How did you all feel? Now put yourself in the role. Okay. How did you all feel that she responded to you, despite the situation being hard? Yeah, actually, she responded so good, uh, like, uh, like a professional. And I appreciate her for not, uh, like, she is not fed up <laughs> of just listening to us. Uh, yeah, she did a very good job. Mm. OK, uh, be specific of, of your answer. What did you find her doing? Like it's been like from my side, it's a complicated thing. Like what to what we give to her, like and how she. I I like the how she wind up the section. Like she didn't went to from from her side. She did her best, and from it became overflowing from her head. She said, "Okay, we will wind up this section now. Just you talk." And she didn't left also. She, she didn't like what is that? Give up. Mm. She didn't give up on, and she didn't try extra something not wanted. Mm. She want to go after uh, forward, but take a break. Okay, like how to? She handled it very well. Mm. In position. Okay. Any other thoughts? What did you think? How did you think Ravali handled it? How do you think she handled it? Nicely. What, what give some specific, spe, give specifics to to it. 
even the other online students she uh, what i felt it's like uh, she was very patient mm. uh, and uh, how she was giving like it's not like giving the solution but uh, coming into a point where they both can communicate to each other mm. Mm. i think yeah nina <clears throat> information she's given you're legally married with one and not both wives yeah nice good yeah yeah so she she if you saw i think your, your voice was um you didn't get perturbed when you heard um you know the 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 complexity of it you did say it is a complex situation but i do understand what where you all are in both spaces you were careful not to take sides that's one thing that i really did see despite what maybe anand said that could have worked or could have brought about um you know maybe a response of judgment you were very very clear of of not doing that i think you've got yes uh, jackin said you rephrased what was spoken you were empathetic to both to both of them you actually showed a lot of uh, empathy uh, you clarified you asked one person the question and the other person you said what do you have to say about it what do you think about it right without having to put in your um, uh, ideas or thoughts and you ended it well you probably said you know let's go back we, i mean no we can't talk about uh, discuss this completely but go talk about it and come back so i think overall you did an excellent job you did anyone else anyone else would like to bring about thoughts uh what did you think can Ramali? you hear me ma'am can you hear me go ahead please uh like for me i felt like she was not being biased uh especially when uh, we know when that other person uh, legally accepts that that person was in a affair we almost take the side for an affect person who get affected but uh, she been so uh, neutral towards each person also trying uh, to make feel anand that she understands him also she understands his situation also that's a good thing i like uh, and also uh, she was trying to be empathetic she was not uh, minimizing the problem of anand she was also like no like telling okay i understand your you also i understand your perspective too and uh, actually i like the way she closed it up it's uh, even i was just waiting how she will in this topic but she was so i think uh, she used wisdom uh for the end how to conclude for the session telling you talk and come back with a point writing so yeah she did a very good job actually okay okay uh anyone else anyone else wants to uh, before we have ravali say what she felt okay, ravali you ravali you want to share what you thought yeah um actually it is a difficult situation because uh, first thing is not a real scenario so they are not really speaking out of their heart and they are being very um naughty and funny so <laughs> very tough so for me to put in that place where um uh, i should not respond in the i thought i should not respond the way they are approaching me uh, to give it a, a thought even though when i know that anand is a wrong thing inside inside my heart he is saying oh i gave the promise to that girl i want to do justice to both my wife and that girl <laughs> i felt very <laughs> i'm like one one nadi i'll give you inside my heart i was thinking but <laughs> so how is that i wanted to put it across in such a way that uh, you know i wanted to as you said i i made sure that i'm not biased to someone and i made sure i want to listen both sides of the story because both are together and um, i also felt 
the need of counseling them separately as well i wanted to say that in the end because uh, when they're together there is a lot of commotion happening that uh, you know angel is like oh i want him back and all of that and he's like you know uh, trying to say his point so i felt even counseling together and also counseling separately to understand each other's perspective is important i felt and also one one point where i said something and i i kind of corrected it is i when anand is telling that you know i i love her also i mean basically he likes the childhood mate and uh, i said i understand your situation but i corrected that i am listening to whatever you say because i felt i might not understand his situation because i haven't been there at any point of time uh, so i understood his emotion that he felt that way but i didn't know how to put it across in that case scenario where he's saying i gave a word for her and i'm feeling bad that i'm not able to do justice for both he, even though he didn't put it in this way but that's what he is feeling at that point of time so there i might not understand what he exactly feels but i i just know that he's going through an emotional uh, you know a uh, roller coaster having both and being in a place where he is not able to uh, ba- decide what he wants to do so i want to know how do we put it across where you really not been in that place uh, i can't understand him being ha- i mean having an affair or being in two double relationship because i haven't been there so how do we channel that kind of tough situations good question so one of the things that um that that so what you're saying is i can't imagine being in a state like that and how do i understand him well enough to know where he's at right so it's perfectly okay to say that you're not able to comprehend what it means to have this affair as well as your wife you're not able to comprehend because um you may not know how he feels until you ask him right so you it is okay to say you know at this point of time i can't comprehend what it is for you to be to have a wife as well as have a lover and want to keeping both i'm not able to comprehend that but i'd like to understand a little bit more about what this means to you what does this mean to you having both of them uh in your life with the stress of knowing that your wife is uh, unacceptable to this relationship but your desire of wanting her so actually asking him that will probably uh, ravali are you there he's just gone yes okay so okay so so just just doing that will will open up a conversation that helps you to hear from anand what it means so when you are coming to a place of understanding you're not just helping you're not understanding it for yourself but you're clarifying that understanding for anand so you may be saying anand i'm i can't comprehend what it means for you to have two women like this but what does it mean to you or what does it feel like for you to have your wife who is vehemently against this and to have your lover who wants all of you what does that feel like for you so you're actually helping him clarify something as well because he may come to understand okay i've not thought about this but then this is actually quite stressful this is not an easy job to have a wife and have a lover uh, having one not accept maybe having the other pushing me towards it so while you are making the understanding for yourself you're actually also going to be helping anand to discover that for himself that may help him Uh, see a little bit more light into his situation uh, did you get that ravali do you have any th- questions thoughts no i think it makes sense to me to take that approach ravali can you hello can you hear me hello uh, ravali can't hear you Okay. 
It's lovely we can't hear you. Uh, okay, I just wanted to probably also put some of the things, you know, some of the skills that we've learned, some things that Ravali put into practice. What all do you think she put into practice? Did she attend well? She saw Anand doing, you know, not Anand, sorry. Angel having heart attack and crying and all of that, and she saw it, okay, and then she, she really bought about that, right? She was very keenly observing you. All right. Did she listen well? She did. Did she respond to your feelings? You said, I see that you're feeling really broken, you're really upset, right? So she responded. Her, her questions, did she ask questions well enough? Yeah. To, that made you all to think or figure out a situation, right? Okay. So those were definitely, and, and we, I know we didn't progress further into uh, influencing and all of that, but nevertheless, I think she, she did get this extremely well. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Angel, for all the drama <laughs> and uh, Anand for making up the story and Ravali, excellent job. Great. Okay. All right. We have another 10 minutes. Do you all have any questions? If not, we can we can close today. Any questions? Any thoughts? So something, uh, maybe I think I will probably just add one or two things. Uh, something that I may ask Angel and uh, Anand is, OK, um, since you all both came in here for counseling, maybe that's something I would want to know from Anand. Um, since you both came in for counseling, what is the best way? What can I? What would you like me to do to help you? Right, because uh, it it would it would help him think about what he would like. Right, so that's maybe a question that that I'd ask. You don't have to answer. Uh, that's a question that I may ask. The second thing that I may ask is, uh, I'd like maybe again to Anand is. Um, you know, I do see you have a you you really want to keep your wife and your girlfriend. Um, what do you think are some of the challenges that you may face as a result of keeping both of them in your life? What do you think? So I want him to come to a place of really understand what could be the positive or the negative. He's not come to think of the negatives. So what could be some challenges? Maybe I will bring about. What do you think others around your family, that is your parents, what, how, what, what opinion would they have of you keeping two women together? Right? So these are things that would help him to think. And also to Angel, because she said, if she keeps her, I will die. I will kill. I will kill both of them. He said, I will kill both of them. So maybe asking, you know, bringing about, see, she may be saying it in that overwhelm and that emotion. But when you when it comes down and or when it tones down, probably asking some something like, um, if you looked at a solution of dealing with this, apart from killing Anand and her, what would be another thing that you would do if Anand continues to want to stay with this girl and you? Right. So you're what you're trying to help her is to look at another solution or something more rational rather than I will kill Anand and then I will kill thing. It may have come from an emotional state. So once that is down, I'll say, apart from that thing that you said, if there was another choice of doing something else, what would you do, Angel? Right? So, so it gives them ways of how to think. Then maybe Angel will say, I'm going to go tell his parents or I'm going to do something else. So that that that's more a um, you're generating a solution to help them to come to terms or come to a come to a practical solution, okay, rather than, uh, you know, this thing, this issue of dying or issue of killing, right? So these may be two additional questions of the hat that I can think of that, you know, I may ask. Anyone else thinks of another question that you could probably ask to engage them to think? Anybody else? Sri Radha, oh. Nikhil, Nina, any other question?
Okay, there's nothing. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. No other questions from anyone? If not, we'll just close with a word of prayer. Thank you, actors. All right, let's just pray. Thank you, Lord, once again for uh, where you've placed us. Lord, we truly need your wisdom and guidance to deal with people who are hurting. Father, we pray that you will keep us sensitive, you will keep us uh, in love, you will keep us not judgmental or biased towards others and their challenges. But Lord, you will give us a heart of compassion, a heart, Lord, that really desires to see uh, situations being changed. Holy Spirit, we pray that you will guide us through each of this. Uh, build the skills within us, even as we, we get talking to others, get discussing. I pray, God, that uh, you will bring to our minds, help us recall the things we've learned, things we've studied. Thank you once again for your grace over each of our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Here there is sorting out happening and love back in action. Okay. I leave them. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you.